now this code is basically password pro read protected so once i try to read it i will not be able to read it that is what it should do so first we like burn it we have written it now the code is written we i click on on i power it up using the picket 3 now see this is the code over here we can see the code and led is blinking this is fine now i try to read it i click on read because this is a protected code read protection is applied so we must not be able to read it see 000 now that is what read protection is now we could not read the hex file anymore see we get 000 when we try to read it now if i try to stole it i stole it i click on export hex file i call it stolen code one i stole it i click on save okay it's stolen now i erase the code in the controller like this and i burn the stolen code and let's see what happens this one i click on write okay it's being burned now remember this code is stolen from a microcontroller in which read protection was applied so we should not be able to get the data and led should not blink like the code should not work so what we get see the led do not work it's just 000 so that is what read protection guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i will show you how we can enable code read write protection for pic 6 and f 7 a microcontroller basically the protection is only required for the read operation so no one should be able to read your microcontrollers code or export it uh, so write protection is not required so only the read protection is necessary so that is how we are going to do it so let's uh, first for demonstration purpose we will be having an a basic circuit like we will be writing a code in which we will blink an led i will show you how i will apply protection to that code that if someone tries to read it he will not be able to get any data from it so this will be our pic 16 f 7 a microcontroller for demonstration purpose this is applicable to all the microcontrollers found in the micro c library so pick have all the pick microcontroller in the micro c library so this is applicable to every microcontroller so let's get started so i will use a led for the code like we will be just be blinking an led that will be our code and then i will show you how we apply read protection to that code so an led have two pin one longer one shorter longer is the power shorter is the ground to connect the longer pin with the pick you need a resistor it's a current limiting resistor i will use a 220 ohm one so for the longer pin connect it to one end of the 220 ohm resistor like this from the other end send it to any available digital input output pin i use pin number b0 like this for the ground pin just connect it directly to the ground of the pick this is the simple circuit that we have here so let me show you the hardware before we move on to the programming so guys this over here is the hardware this is our led only this one will be used and over there you can see the pick 16 fa 7 a and now to use this feature you will need the uh, picket 3 i'm going to use a picket seat for programming reading and writing so simple hardware just like normal video rest is just a trainer board so don't get confused by it and this over here is our micro c for pick so let me zoom in so you guys can see better this is micro c for pick version it is version 7.6.0 you can download and install the latest as well i also have a video on that please go through that click on new new project write the name of the project we just write led blink protection tutorial that is the name i wrote you may write any code you want path select the microcontroller i have pick 16 f 7 a the crystal i have is 20 megahertz click on next and finish so in this way the file is created now before you do anything first of all save your work click on save save it wherever you prefer we just write the code i write trace b dot f0 because we have led at pin at b0 so this is the port this is a pin name this is the direction register zero means the pin has been declared as output by default we want the led to be off so port b dot f0 equals to zero so by default the led is off we give some initialization delay initialization delay is up to you to give i always give it in the one time loop i just give it 10 millisecond i start the forever loop from here it starts here ends here and then inside it i, I write my code so first of all we change the initial state to one now the led is on now for how long i want the led to be on we just delay the code for that long time so i want the led to be on for 250 milliseconds like this then after that the led have to go back in the off state this is the off state so it goes zero and then it will stay off for another 250 millisecond now that will be the simple code i build this code first we just burn it and see does it work or not it's done i open the packet c programmer tool just wait let it open 
okay here we go this is the picket 3 programmer tool i connect the picket 3 it's not connected right now here you go it's connected now i click on tools check communication okay detecting picket 3 it's detected now select your microcontroller pick 16 f8 double seven a is the one we are using i also have a video on this please go check that how to download and install this picket 3 programmer tool click on file import import hex file this is a file we just created already blink protection tutorial click on open i click on right now see there the code this is the code here now this is your code here see i click on write okay this file is without protection so we just write it and go to the hardware and check it let's see does it blink the led or not okay it's written so led is blinking as it should blink so this is a perfect code now what i do is that now to check either we were doing the right thing or not i check something like okay okay the background is confusing i just bring something else okay here we go now what we do is that i zoom in now take a look here that is that is the button to read the code now if i just want to read the code i just click on read okay i am reading the code now see code is read we got these data this we should not get if it was read protected now problem is that we want some protection which will not allow this data to be read now i suppose i want to export the code i do is that i click on export hex file i write uh, protection protection test one okay this is the file name i export it now it's exported now i erase the code in this microcontroller it's erased see the led is no longer blinking the code is erased now i do this i use this command this one the one we just exported like we stole this from this microcontroller i click on write now let's see does it work or not because right now it's not read protection it should work then we apply the read protection and see does it still work or not now see it's working so this means the code has been successfully stolen now we apply the read protection now go to your micro c in the micro c above this you have project in the project go here in the edit project in the edit project you have certain option now on the left side look for eep rom memory protection you enable this as well this is not the read protection also get the write protection if you want it if you don't want it leave it only the read protection that saves your code from being stolen is this one you must enable this to save your code these two are optional if you want more protection you can turn them on so we apply both protections if you want you may apply it so now right now we have enabled the flash memory protection and also the data ee pro memory code protection i click on ok now i build this code the protections have been enabled now the protections are enabled i go to the picket c programmer tool now again i select the same hex file the one which we are editing this is one led blink this one i click on write okay i wait for the code to be written okay let's wait okay this time the code we wrote is protected so see the code is written now this is for the first time okay what i do is that i just close the picket c programmer tool i open the picket c programmer tool and i will read and we see does it do we read the same or not wait okay the programmer tool has turned on select your microcontroller pick 16 f 7 a here we go i click on read see it do not shows the code here see the code is now zero zero now this is called read protection now take a look here we no longer get the code see no code i again read see the code is we are getting a zero zero it means now it is read protected now i click on see the led is working but we are not able to read it see the code is working fine it's working as per our uh, expectation but the problem is that i'm trying to steal the code but when i click on read it do not read anything now we export this file and try to burn it into the microcontroller i click on file export i call it stolen file protected one okay this is the file we stole from this microcontroller it's stolen now i click on erase i erase the code whatever is inside it 
now i go to the file and we now burn the stolen file now if someone has stolen the file that i was protected i click on write okay it's being written let's see does it still work or not see it is not working because the stolen file is empty because we have applied the read protection so whatever you read now from the microcontroller is an empty 000, zero. So that is how the read protection is applied. You can apply it to any microcontroller, not only to the PIC16 FA77A. Any microcontroller controller supported on micro C have this option. So uh, now guys, this is simple as that. If you, if you have any questions, you may ask. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. So we'll see you in the next lecture. So goodbye until then.